welcome to the festive Christmas Eve edition of Pop Quiz. Uh, the two teams this afternoon are skippered by Toya and Roger Taylor. Firstly, ho, ho, ho to oh, Roger's oh. team, and they are Green from Scritti Politti. Hello. <laughs> Nasha from Frankie Goes to Hollywood. And uh, skipper Roger Taylor from Queen. And joining in the merriment on the other side, whistling Noddy Holder from Slade. <laughs> and Mr. Quiet himself, Meatloaf. <laughs> and in charge of those two likely lads is Toya. <laughs> right, firstly, around for both teams, we've edited together ten songs on a seasonal theme of New Year. So you might get songs with. New Year, or a month, or year, or something like that in the title. We don't want the songs, just the artists, OK? Here they come. Okay, there we are. Ten songs, the theme of New Year. Roger, how many did you get? Nine, I think. I think you got nine, Toya. How many think you got? My friend me says five for seven. Okay, we'll go for seven. Okay. Do you want to do, uh, number one, you two. Then Prince. Then we couldn't get three and four. Bing Crosby was three and four. Number five was Barbara Dixon. Number six we thought was Scaffold. Uh, number seven we couldn't get. Number eight, Three Degrees. Number nine, Talk Talk. And number ten, The Eurythmics. Tell you how you did in a moment, Roger. Yeah, you two, Prince, Al Stewart, Pilot, Barbara Dixon, Herman's Hermits, don't have that one. Three degrees, talk, talk, and Eurythmics. Uh, it was you two, New Year's Day, Prince, 1999, Al Stewart, Year of the Cat, January, Pilot, Barbara Dixon, January, February, Years May Come, Years May Go, as Herman's Hermits. Uh, Trinidad Oil Company in the calendar song, Year of Decision, Three Degrees, <laughs> Talk Talk Today, and Eurythmic Sex Crime 1984. At the end of that round, round one, Toyo's team six, Roger Taylor's team nine. <laughs> There'll be more booing in a moment from the team since we're going to the lyric round, right? A couple of lines from a lyric, and I'd like you to tell me where it comes from. Green, you're first to go. Here are your lines. Love was out to get me. That's the way it seemed. Disappointment haunted all my dreams. That's, um, I'm a believer. From? Neil Diamond. Yeah, well, he wrote it, yes. Or it was a big hit for? Robert Wyatt. And also... The Monkees. Yeah, that's right. Every, <laughs> terrific. <laughs> As you're so good, I'll give you a bonus point if you can sing the chorus. Um, how does the chorus go? Well, any bit of so, it. I'm a believer. Oh, I saw her face. Oh. Now I'm a believer. That's the Robert White way. Love the trace not in my heart. Yeah. I'm in love. Ooh, I'm a believer. <laughs> I could leave her if I tried. That's worth a point. Yeah. 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 Uh, right, another your turn. A couple Jeez. of lines for you. I've got to have a shot, cos what you've got is awful sweet. That's easy. It's easy, it's easy. It's easy, it's easy, it's easy. Give me all your love, innit? Give me all your love. Got loving. to have a shot. Yeah. You go for the point here? Give me all your loving. Give your hugs and kisses too. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, yeah, that was good. Yeah, bonus point there. Very good. Right, Roger, a couple of lines for you. And curse Sir Walter Raleigh, he was such a stupid get. Yeah, um, 
Oh, I'm so tired. By... The Beatles. By the Beatles, two points. Yes, well done. <laughs> Toya, a couple of lines for you. Get. It's hard to give you something when you're pushing and a shoving me around. Alison Moyer all cried out. All cried out. Too easy, Alison Moyer. <laughs> Two points there. Nash, you're over to you. Can you tell me where these lines come from? And there's a storm that's raging through my frozen heart tonight. John Waite. John Waite. I have been missing you. Uh, missing you, yeah. Another two points. 100% so far as we go over to meet to identify these lines. Oh, let it rock, let it roll, let the Bible Belt come and save my soul. Uh, John Cougar Mellencamp. John Cougar, and the song? Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 I know what it Can is. Can you sing it? I hear the drums. <laughs> Do the drums. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's a big thing, and the guitar goes, it's, it's a big thing, and in the middle it goes, boom, boom, boom. Yeah! Yeah, right, yeah, yeah right. That's the one. That's the one. You got it. I'll tell you what, I'll just give you one bonus point if you anguish while you listen to this. It was Jack and Diane. Yeah, Jack and Diane. Oh. At the end of that round, uh, Toya's team 13 and Roger Taylor's team 16. <laughs> well, <he's got> <laughs> right. Uh, team round now. I'm going to show each team three clips of songs you might have seen on Christmas Top of the Pops in a particular year. Right? Roger, your team's first to go here. Uh, I want you to name the song and the artist for three points, and also name the year. It was all the same year for two points, OK? Here comes yours. Do you recall the thrill of it all as we walked along the seafront? Then on the sun we heard a brass band to play the diddly pong. ta ra Sunset. Tomorrow's another day. Tuesday. I may as well play. Up. We're here tonight, and that's enough. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Okay, three songs, three artists, and one year. Fiddler's Drum. Fiddler's Drum. Drum. Day Trip to Bangor is right for the first one, yeah. The second one was uh, Walking on the Moon by the Police. Right. The third one was uh, Christmas by Paul McCartney. Yeah. And, and yeah. What kind of Christmas? Simply uh, having wonderful a wonderful Christmas, Christmas time. time. Wonderful Christmas time, yes. Great, that's right. That's so you've got three points so far for the final two of the yeah. year. Yeah, OK. Well, I'm I think it was 81. <clears throat> I can only give you three points because it, in fact, was 1980. Oh. One year So three out of the possible five. Ooh. Toya, over to your team. Same applies to you. The whoops of delight with which our audience met those three artists were almost as big as the fiddler's dram. Hello. Who are they? <laughs> hello. Uh, it was the Jacksons and hello, Rocking Robin. Then it was the Osmonds and Crazy Horses, Elton John, Crocodile Rock. Uh, dispute over the year. Uh, <laughs> um, so 73. You're going to 73. I would say that you're one year out with 72. <laughs> so we get three each, three out of five each there. So at the end of that round, Toya's team 16, Roger Taylor's team 19. <laughs> right. What you are coming up now is a video, and I don't want the answers to this one now, so just write down whatever you think the answers are and give them to me in a minute when I ask for them. We've got two special mystery guests going to Santa's Grotto. What I'd like to know, what I'd like to know is who are the two mystery guests going to Santa's Grotto and the tune that's playing backwards underneath at the same time. <laughs> 
Right, hold on to your mystery guests and hold on to your backwards playing tune. I'll ask you for those in a moment. Uh, we head into round four. Round four being cover versions. Toya, your team to go first. Three versions for you coming up as Santa Claus is coming to town. Is coming to town. I love the way you're so confident about the middle one. Right. Would you like to know? I would love to know. Uh, Bruce Springsteen. Mm -hmm. No one knew the middle one, so I'm going to say the King Singers. Sorry out there if uh, you're listening. Um, and the last one's Michael Jackson. Bruce Springsteen, the first one, you're right. The Jackson Five was the third one, and the middle one was the Carpenters. Oh, God. So two <laughs> out of three for you. Uh, Roger, for your team, three versions of Silent Night. Oh. of Christmases and the happiest of New Year's and thank you so very much for letting us Right, three versions of Silent Night <laughs> well, My first one was Elvis uh, Presley Right The second one was uh, we're not that sure we think it might be Simon and Garfunkel Yes, it was Silent Night 7 o'clock news Great oh. uh, And the third one was Phil Spector Yeah, absolutely right from the end of the Wall of Sound Yes, Phil Spector's Wall of Sound and the Spector's Christmas album So you've got Elvis, Sam Miguel, Funkel, and Phil Spector for a total of three points. So at the end of that round, Toya's team, 18, Roger Taylor's team, 22. <laughs> right, chums, we're going back to Santa's grotto and see if we can spot Santa this time, eh? As well as the two mystery guests. And we have another backwards playing track for you. It's getting so exciting. <laughs> Roger, have you fared? Do you have the Grotto Mystery Guest? Do you have the Santa yeah, and I the two so. tracks? I think so. I think the, the Mystery Guest was um, is it Glenn Ge Gregory of uh, Heaven. Yeah, I'll tell you in a minute if you're right. Uh, right. Yeah. And uh, Santa, we think, was possibly Roy Wood. And the tune was Prince... Oh, that was a different tune then, wasn't it? The two different mm. ones, yes. You got, wish, the wish you the first Christmas. tune you want to know? Yeah, all well, both of them. Well, Prince Charming by Adam and, and the second one was... Wish you could be Christmas every day. Yes, quite. Yeah. Right, OK, I'll come back to you in a second. I thought the first one was right. um, Glenn out of Heaven 17, <clears throat> and the song was Adam Ant, Prince Charming. And then the second one we thought was... Uh, well, we I, disagree. Uh, he, OK, go I ahead. Think, I think it was... Him. Fergal Sharkey, and the song was Wizard, Wish It Could Be Christmas Every Day. Three for each team, and let's see whether you are right or not. Prince Charming, Prince Charming. It was Glenn Gregory from Heaven 17, you're right. It was David Jones from the Monkeys. It was a little boy in short trousers. And, uh, and the little girl was Jessica, his daughter. Uh, Fergal, Sharky, Fergal Sharky was Santa. Uh, Adam and Prince Charming, you're both right on. And uh, I had to be hard on last one. It was Rock and Roll Winter, was the actual song from Wizard. So, the end of round five. Toyo's team, 21. Roger Taylor's team, 25. 
Another individual round, and Noddy's turn first. Uh, for you, Noddy, here are the Beatles. All you need is love. And hey, you've got to hide your love away. That's right, for one point. For a further point, can you name two of the three films that you would have seen? There? Help. Mm -hmm. uh, Yellow Submarine. Absolutely, yes. And the other one was One World. So, well done. You have your two points. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Their team are ecstatic, as you can see. Green, something for you to watch. Chaka Khan singing, I'm Every Woman. Right, Chaka Khan, I'm Every Woman. For one point, can you tell me who wrote her recent number one, I Feel For You? Prince. Prince, yes. And for a further point, can you tell me who played harmonica on it? Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, two points, yes. Well, he's still one is a good guess because he's playing harmonica on everything at the moment. Uh, Toya, <laughs> over to you and a clip for you of David Bowie singing Five Years. Guy wept when he told us right, for one point, can you tell me which of Bowie's albums that track comes from? That was um, Ziggy Stardust, The Rise Z and Fall Off. That's right, for one point. For a further point, his current single tonight was written by Bowie and an old mate of his who was... Iggy Pop. Iggy Pop, yes, for two points. <laughs> <laughs> Only two points. Yeah, well, what do we get an extra point if you give Toy a kiss under the mistletoe? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Horrible. A kiss under the mistletoe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Extra points. I'm not sure whether it's worth a point, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's worth yeah. a point. Oh, all right. Yeah. Now. Oh. 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 You're going to have to get there in a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ten, ten bonus points for Meatloaf. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. Roger, for you, we've got some Rolling Stones singing Jumping Jack Flash, where Mick Jagger shows Adamant a thing or two. Roger, Jumping Jack Flash was their seventh UK number one. Can you name their Correct. first? <laughs> oh, the first. The first. Number one mm -hmm. in the UK. Cool. No. Um, I know it, I know it, I know it. Um, Bobby Romack. No. Oh. There's a song written by Bobby Romack. It's Wormack. all over now. It's just. They're getting points for kissing. Really. Just, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's true. Yes, but we're good at it. <laughs> <laughs> If they get points for the kissing, I'll let you have points for lips. So you get one point for that. Uh, another one, the, the promotional film for The Stones, the one you just saw, was thought a little too risque for TV at the time. The Stones promo hit problems this year, a yeah. similar one. Yeah, under, the undercover of the night. Right? Yes, undercover of the night. Two points. <laughs> uh, right, meet for you a clip of Bob Seger singing Still the Same. Okay. Still the Same. That's a track from one of his best-selling albums in Britain. What was it called? Uh, Strangers in Town. Stranger in Town for one point. For a further point, can you name his backing band? <coughs> uh, the Silver Bullet Band. Silver Bullet well, Band. Wait, I can do five better than that. I can tell you his backing singers, Pam Moore and Sean Murphy. I'll tell you the year, 1978. Extra points, extra points. I can tell you that, that in 1971, the same girl, Sean Murphy, was named Stoney and did an album with me called Stoney and Meatloaf on Rare Earth. Yeah. Very good. Uh, finally, Nasha for you, a clip of Pink Floyd and Astronomy Donnelly.
was actually recorded on BBC Two's Look of the Week back in 67, before they recorded their first album, which for one point was called... Piper at the Gates of Dawn. Piper at the Gates of Dawn, yes, for one point. <laughs> and for a further point, when promoting which album did Pink Floyd make pigs fly? Animals. Animals, it was, when they let it loose over... <laughs> Broke loose have a Battersea power station, didn't it? Right, two points there at the end of that round. Toya's team, 28. Roger Taylor's team, 31. <laughs> well, they're all ho-ho-hoing. Still early days and still very tight. Fingers on the buzzers. Quick fire. Two points for a right answer. One point if I throw it over to somebody else. In the winter of 74, Mud had a number one with Lonely This Christmas. They had two other number ones. Name one of them. Yes, Noddy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy was one, Tiger Feet was the other. Two points. Who was cold as Christmas in the middle of summer? Yes, Roger. Uh, Elton John. Elton John was. Two points. Uh, in the 50s, which group were walking back ones for Christmas? Yes, Noddy. The Goons. The Goons were. In 1970, who sang about a snowbird? Roger. Snowbird. Snowbird. Noddy. Hey, Murray. Uh, yes, Meatloaf. And Murray for a bonus point. Right. Uh, which bird gave a hit to Snowy White? Roger. Uh, uh... Bird of, Bird of Paradise. Bird of Paradise, yes, two points. Which vocalist, arranger, producer was the driving force behind this? All day long we will be laughing as we go. Roger. Uh, Mike Bat, because it was? Um, Wombles. Uh, Wombles, I won't ask you to Wombles. sing it. Wombles. Which soloist from a well known trio believed in Father Christmas? Anasha. Greg Lake. Greg Lake, yes, two points. Which trail did Laurel and Hardy follow Christmas 1975, Roger? Uh, it's, it's blue, no, I, blue Mountains of Virginia. No, I'll throw it over two points to somebody else because, go on. Hey, Nasha. Lonesome Pine. The Trail of the Lonesome Pine. So, same team, so I give you. I'll give you one because you're on the same team. The Trail of the Lonesome Pine. Which veteran rock and roller had a hidden 63 with Run Rudolph Run? Yes, Roger. Uh, Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry, two points. In the same year, 63, the final question, four people from one group made up the panel of a BBC pop show, Jukebox Jury, Roger. The Beatles. The Beatles, John Paul George and Ringo. <laughs> Brings us to the end of this Christmas Eve edition of Pop Quiz and the scores at Toya's team, 33, Roger Taylor's team, 48. <laughs> A bit of liquid festive cheer will soon put them all back on their feet again. We'd like to thank the losing team, but of course at Christmas there are no losers. Early days, yeah, they Noddy? Yeah. Yeah. Merry Christmas! Yeah. It's early and Merry Christmas yeah. from Meatloaf. Merry I just get Merry Christmas! <laughs> ho, ho, ho! <laughs> and good commiserations to Ty and happy Christmas. <laughs> And to the winning side, a Merry Christmas from Green. Merry Christmas. And one from Nasha. And a happy festive season to the skipper, Roger Taylor. Right, we're back on Friday afternoon with Spandau Ballet versus Duran Duran at 4.30. So if you want a picture wits against them, that's the time to watch the next pop quiz. We'll say good night tonight. Uh, with a group who never had a hit record, they are Rowan Atkinson, Griff Reese Jones, Pamela Stevenson, and Mel Smith in nice video. Shame about a song, Squire. Right, have a great Christmas, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>